We're back, people, and today we're going to film on Rashard Lawrence, another new addition to the practice squad for the Miami Dolphins. He's a nose tech, uh, nose tackle one tech type of player, and I think out of every guy they added, he's probably the one with the best chance to like get pulled up to the roster and like play, get some playing time. He's a very solid run defender. He plays nose one tech. He plays basically what Peely does. And I think they really like Peely, but he still needs to be developed. He's a little raw at times. And I think if they want someone who could be a little more consistent and an early down player to help stop the run, if injuries were to happen, especially it's already a pretty, you know, light, like very strong at the top, but not a lot of depth in that defensive tackle room. And Lawrence won't offer you really anything as a pass rusher. He's pretty limited athletically, but versus the run, he makes an impact. He can do it in many different ways. Here he gets to shoot. You can see they kind of work a combo on him. Like he gets attacked in the low hip here. This guard tries to reach out to him, and he, even though he gets sort of hit by this center, he's still able to stack, shed, throw the left guard out of the way. And this is during the regular season, too, and he's able to get upfield, create an impact. He can penetrate, too. Known for this. Coming out of LSU, um, pretty solid player, just known for that run defense, and he helps make that impact. He doesn't end up getting the tackle, but he's the reason for this play happening, just being disruptive in the backfield. And I feel like just out of those new additions, he has the best chance to shoot to that defensive tackle room, what the Dolphins sort of need. And, you know, you can call people up about three times, and I would not be surprised to see Lawrence end up getting called up uh, multiple times to play for the team this season. You already see Lawrence get another tackle for loss, but, like, this time he's just holding strong at the point of attack. You can see him control his gap. There's another, like, penetration there, too. You can see he can do it in a multiple different ways. Just here's one tag. You see he tries to shoot a field, but he's just in control now, in control of this A gap. He holds the center, wants to read this out. They kind of, you know, play gets messed up here offensively. And now he uses, like, his hands, his arm length, to create that space, push the center into you know his guard, and then out shed, get to the backfield, use good hands, and then make these tackles for loss. He's a very consistent tackler too. Another thing, like I feel like Christian Wilkins is one of the better tackling defensive tackles in the NFL. Lawrence also makes a lot of tackles. Like if you get near him, he's gonna wrap you up and finish these plays. And just I like the addition. I thought he was one of the better guys I saw get cut, surprisingly from the Cardinals too. But like. Just for what his role is, he's very good at it. He's not going to offer you a ton of different things value-wise, you know, pass rushing, uh, other types of plays, you know, positional versatility, like alignment. He's pretty much just a nose and a one guy, but he can make an impact versus the run on those plays. I'm not going to show many plays versus the pass, but this is him not even pass rushing. This is just him hustling on the screen. Like he's not known for his athleticism, but that's a pretty good play for the big man out there. Um, Definitely seems like he's had some injuries too as well in the past. But this is a good, you know, mental play. Recognizing the screen, sees these guys go out. You can see him just feel this great instincts, go out, showing off that hustle, competitive toughness, and even some speed, better speed than I thought he would look out in space. But I think the biggest thing is just the motor. Dolphins love having those defensive tackles with motors, bringing him up to the roster. I could easily see them bring him up from the practice squad, keeping Peely on the 53 because they don't want to lose him. And then somehow, like certain games, depending on which the matchup is, if it's a run-heavy team, having Lawrence being active over Peely being active. Because I feel like Peely brings you more as a pass rusher, um, and his run defense is still a little inconsistent up and down. Like He'll make some plays, and then he'll get blown off the ball at times. But Lawrence will always be very consistent. You know, you're going to expect... He's going to give a lot of effort and then play solid versus the run. And then really, you don't want to use him on passing downs at all. Here we got Lawrence as the one. Just a good job, you know, beating a double team there, holding at the point of attack. He does a really good job. He understands just how to beat these double teams. Like he's he's more of like a 2 a eye right here. One pretty similar, but he's playing in that 2 eye, that inside shade of this guard. And he takes him on at the point of attack and he realizes this left tackle is coming down to block him so he just gets like skinny tries to skip between them to avoid that and he uses almost that momentum from the left tackle to throw this guard off of him you can see him take that space and he's still in control of his gap doesn't get pushed back here and he uses that guy to basically uses the offensive lineman basically to help make that tackle at the line of scrimmage so you can see the play strength core strength uh, to take on those double teams very important especially when that's sort of your niche he can make some explosive plays versus the run. Like, he can, you know, get upfield, be disruptive. I know we can see him holding him at the point of attack, beat double teams, play as, like, a one-and-a-half gap defender, but he's comfortable one-gapping, shooting up the upfield. And that's pretty tough here, considering he's, like, straight-up nose. He's zero. He's lined up head-up with this center, and he's still able to shoot through this A-gap, um, win quickly with, a like, a club swim. Like, look how quickly he swims over the top and just feels this, um, shows some quickness off the ball with his first step. 
and uh, it's really nice to see him make these types of plays, not being known for that athleticism, to still be able to, you know, be disruptive in the backfield, help make that four-yard loss um, with, I believe that's Zach Allen, but with the help of him, and they both do a very good job. You just know, like, I like this pickup because you just know exactly what to expect from pretty much every facet of the game. You know, he'll be a solid run defender. Not perfect. He's not always, like, going to be making plays like this, obviously, but he has the potential of just being uh, just in his spot, doing his job, but then has the ability to disrupt and make big-time plays versus the run. And then, you know, not to expect really anything as a pass rusher. That's why I think, you know, they value a defensive tackle that can stop the run, especially in the Fangio defense. you got to have guys who can stop the run with their light boxes. And with the depth that they have, I see Lawrence making an impact uh, at some point in this season. We're going to get to some 2023 preseason. Here he does a good job beating the double team again, just splitting through those blocks. He does a really good job just getting skinny, sort of using his shoulders to dip underneath, um, keeping his feet. Like, he'll even drop to the ground here. We got him as a one-tech uh, to the shade here of this um, offensive line. He gets double teamed by the guard and the center. He gets very low. He drops to this knee. That's a, you know, a pretty common technique that these defensive tackles have used to sort of anchor themselves in these situations. He drops that knee, hangs on to the point of attack. You can see he's still in the control of the situation. It doesn't allow the guard to get low leverage on him and create movement. And now he's just using himself one-on-one -on -one versus the center. Um, and then now he splits between them and makes a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Like that's really high level work, obviously facing against not um, starter level players, but still looking quite good. Like even having two big people like that block you, no matter, you know, their level of play is still very difficult to do. And he showed why, you know, uh, I think Lawrence will be, is very happy that he is able to be on the practice squad of the Dolphins instead of being on the Cardinals team this year. Got Lawrence right here. Look at the impact, just holding at the point of attack. Nice to see him playing. This is a more of a two-gap type of play. Uh, we've seen him penetrate a lot, one gap, or taking on double teams, but still one gapping, splitting between them. Here, he does a good job just straight up attacking the guard one-on-one. -on -one. This is what you want to do versus double teams a lot of times as well. Just take on one of them, so um, it's harder for this guy to get that double team on you as long as he don't attack the low hip and um, take you out of the play. But here, he just gets complete control of the situation. He's using his hands well, really good placement, extending. You see him sort of lift up this offensive lineman. He's in control of his initial gap here. This is his primary gap. And once he sees the running back press up into it, but bounce to the other side, he's anticipating him going there, just knowing where he's at, his positioning, that that's going to happen. Just a high-level, uh, smart play versus the run. Get in your primary gap, uh, beat the double team, then beat your guy one-on-one -on -one at the point of attack, stack and shed. Once he gets to your secondary gap, he clears the primary, and he does that really, really well. Last play that we're going to get, break down for Lawrence, this time just working laterally down the line of scrimmage, which is nice to see. A lot of these plays have been like when they've just attacked straight down, but here going versus some outside zone as the straight nose tech, and he gets beat here too. Like the center is able to reach him like off the ball. This is the exact position the center wants to be in, and then he's trying to climb to the next level, but Lawrence just keeps fighting through it. He actually even like holds onto the center. He doesn't want to allow the center to climb. That should probably be defensive holding, but he still like is able to keep himself clean on the left guard get across his face, not allow that guy to reach him, which is exactly what the Broncos are trying to accomplish here. And Lawrence does like a little savvy veteran play. Doesn't get called for holding because he's not like pulling him to the ground. He's not making it super obvious. And he's, you know, using both of his hands really well to keep himself clean on both sides. And is showing off some lateral agility down the line of scrimmage in pursuit to make a play, you know, almost to the numbers, which is pretty impressive for Lawrence uh, aligned as the nose tackle, which is something that you would like to see you know, out of guys who are known for run defense, especially up the middle, that they can make plays farther outside of the play, um, outside of, you know, the main line of scrimmage, outside of the box, and uh, Lawrence shows out there. So I'm a fan of the pickup. One of the guys I def I knew before they signed, like I knew the name, had watched him coming out of college before they signed him, and I knew the exact player that he's going to be, and he's still the exact same player. So we'll see how it ends up playing out. I think he has a good chance to make an impact. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys after